is it like this is came from the coach or what is what it's about you know having the the right group of people and the right coach to, to push them beyond their limits or is it only the coach and he can manipulate your mind and your limitation and how you think so you can be like a war machine you know in the, in the field in the sport in, in the gym whatever you know i don't think it's the right group of people but i do believe it's the right coach because um there's coaches that i had that were really great coaches but they couldn't get that out of me i had a coach i had a coach that was kind of like you know how uh ct flexor always teases the uh, fitness industry, those MC Square people, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I had a, I had a, I had a. He's a beautiful guy. He was a nice man, you know. He had a great personality. Uh, he was a good coach, but he had me thinking on the field all the time. You know, he had me thinking about every single little thing. You know, um, there's a boxing coach. A pro boxing coach. I won't say his name because I have so much respect for him. And I think he's the, an excellent boxing coach. I think just with certain fighters, he's like that. My scenario. I feel like I've seen him get with certain fighters and that guy's just thinking in the ring. He's not letting the, 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 fight, game, the fight game flow out of him. Boxing is about rhythm and timing. And if you're sitting there thinking about every single little meticulous thing, you're going to be off. And that's how I played when I was under that coach. I had good games and bad games, but I know one thing, he had me thinking way too much. Whereas Petrino, when he was my running back coach, Petrino was a really in-your-face type of coach. I wanted... Perfect or near perfect. Okay? Wow. And if it's not, look, we were running backs. We didn't even catch the ball. You drop a ball, you got five sprints after practice. You fumble, maybe 10, maybe 15. Okay? What did that do, though? It made you focus on the running quarterback. He taught me how, well, not me, all the running backs. Hey, man. You're going to deliver a blow. You're going to make him pay for when you tackle. And he was a guy also that gave me a lot of um, warrior spirit. Then he did that to me in the gym. And as he was the running back coach, John L. Smith was the head coach. So then you had the great motivator to back him all up. So then you had a team of these great coaches. So I, I don't, it's not the right people. Because when you get to college, people come from all walks of life. You got guys that are super smart. You got guys that, you know, uh, because they're a good athlete, they passed through. They weren't good students. You had guys that came from uh, messed up homes, guys that were involved in gangs and drugs and stuff like that. And we all get on this one team. So you can't, as a coach, you can't pick the athletes. You can't pick the athletes. Your job is to shape and mold that athlete. 